Algae blooms that lead to fish kills, contaminated drinking water, all byproducts of an abundance of nitrogen. While the primary source is sewage or wastewater, the second biggest nitrogen problem is with fertilizers. That's why Patty Wood, the executive director for Grassroots Environmental Education, wants laws that make a big difference. She helped craft new legislation that aims to reduce water pollution on Long Island by restricting the sale and use of high nitrogen water soluble fertilizers in both Nassau and Suffolk counties. On each bag of fertilizer, you'll find three numbers. The first number represents the percentage of nitrogen in this bag. So if the legislation passes, this 28% would have to be cut by more than half. We uh, can't afford to uh, be spending billions of dollars getting nitrogen out of the water only to have people's lawn fertilizers added back in. We reached out to Scott's miracle Grow for its take. In short, the company says the bill would ban access to slow-release nitrogen products, which helped slash nitrogen used by Long Islanders in half since 2008. So what do Long Islanders think of the proposed bill? If it's better for the environment, why not? So anything that reduces the amount of chemicals that go into our groundwater has to be a good thing. I've never found the need for it. Compost tea um, and watering the soil improperly. Still, people use fertilizer. So will this new legislation pass and curb its nitrogen content? From Port Washington, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.